So if you've been through conservative methods and you still have unremitting pain on a regular basis that's starting to affect walking, life and activity, and in particular you've got a toe which is coming up, the second toe, it's called a hammer toe deformity, and the pain is starting to impact different areas of the foot, you may well benefit from surgery. Most people manage really well with conservative treatments such as footwear, insoles and some modification to lifestyle. But if it is still affecting you or impacting you, there are some surgical options. For surgery, we have to understand what this entails. So because this is a structural deformity of the first metatarsal moving inwards towards the inside of your body, we have to realign the first metatarsal. So it's not a case of just shaving the bump off here. So first of all, we make an incision from here to here and then open up the tissue. We break the first metatarsal and reset and realign it. Put a couple of pins in there as well. Usually there's some work to the, the big toe at the very end. Following surgery, you will be placed in a, in a heel walking boot or a surgical boot for around about two weeks with pretty much complete rest. Four weeks after that, you're in a trainer, a wide fitted trainer, and the swelling usually starts to come down around about three to six months after the surgery. The outcome after a bunion surgical procedure is on around about 12 months. There are some risks and there are some benefits to surgery. Around about 85% of people are quite comfortable and quite happy after surgery. But what that really means is 15% of people, or in other words, 15 out of 100 people, are unhappy after surgery. So what are the risks? One risk is infection, the other risk is non-healing, fracture, stress fracture, and continued pain. Other risks associated with bunion surgery include deep vein thrombosis, pulmonary embolism, and just continued discomfort. So that's why most good surgeons and the surgical pathway for you is simply unremitting pain on a regular basis that is impacting work, walking, lifestyle and activity levels. It is also affecting other parts of the foot and you must have gone through the conservative methods prior to having a surgical consideration. So what that means is most people manage and cope with bunions for many, many years and they're really, really common. Now below this video, we've included a lot more information for you, including the risks, benefits and post-operative care following surgery, if surgery is indicated.